they're looking like Jeffree Star looking boys. That's because that's what gay men. Brown to see him, it's on site. I have a house, 10 bedrooms, and nine of them are women. Toxic pussy. Been annoyed about how Asian men are treated. Yo, big fan. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure you out. Commit to the dick. Oh wait, no, pause, bro. Um, <laughs> How is that modeling shit going, by the way? Because I feel like you used to like hate it, but now it seems like you kind of like it. I like the the consistency of it. It's just something to do. Yeah. Um, I mean, something dude, to vlog. I like vlog. Getting in some like big brands, bro. Like yeah. Burberry. Like. I did Javinci um, the other day. Yeah. Last week I did Damn. Javinci. Yeah. It's it's all right. If I don't do it ever again, I will not gotcha. care at all. Like yeah, I don't. I really don't care. That's what's dope about it. It's just like getting paid to just. Is the bag nice? It's the bag is so easy. Yeah. Just go up. You're just getting paid to look like yourself. It's so easy. Yeah. And you know you got to travel for free. Right. Models, come on. Models, model bitches, bro. Yeah. Like, come on. They're so easy to talk to because they're not used to talking to a lot of like dumb people. If you just crack a couple jokes, it's over, man. It's what's like one thing you learned about that like modeling world like that you didn't know before you joined it? It's um. 99% of the fashion world derives from gay men. Even yeah. women's clothing, it all is because, gay men yeah. run fashion. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. They dominate it. Like they, 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 group, they probably have the most fun. Not a gay roommate in Austin, bro. Those motherfuckers have the most fun. They the fuck game. so, I wish that straight people should, <laughs> could fuck as much as they do. <laughs> like, we, we need a grinder. We need a grinder <laughs> for straight, why does that not exist? Like, because there's a bunch of weird men. The thing is, Women only want like 3% of men. 3% mm. of men shared like 97% of women. Mm. The rest of it is kind of, that, that's why we don't have a grinder. Game men just like, you'll just dick, well, whatever, dick here, there, yeah. you know, yeah. they're fine. Yeah. One day. So, okay, sorry, so you, One you, day. you've noticed that uh, gay people run fashion, that's what you noticed. Yeah, you think it's people like Kanye and stuff, but they, yeah. they run everything. Yeah. They decide what, that's why like most female models are kind of built like 12 year old boys. Huh. Think about it. Like why, why has only Fashion Nova, what's, what's the Instagram thing? Fashion Nova, right? Yeah. That's the yes. first time you see thick, thick bitches in modeling. The rest of it is like skinny, slender, like, like this like jawline. They kind of look like boys. Aliens. Like, alien looking like Jeffree Star looking boys. That's because that's what gay men, that's what gay men like. They run fashion, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Interesting. And I do, I, I mean, I gotta admit, I fit in that category. I kind of look like a handsome lesbian. Like, handsome I, I, lesbian, I know what yeah. it is. I know what curious it is. George. <laughs> <laughs> By Curious George. By Curious George. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's gonna be in the comments, oh, hopefully. Fuck. So if you wanna see the full story on how I even landed this interview with Sneeko in the first place, click that link up top or the link in the description. And now, back to the interview. I'm curious, have you had any like weird fan interactions? I think it was with- Yeah, this one. Or? This is a weird this one. This one? Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing a good job. No, I'm fine. I think uh, <laughs> recently I was in the boxing gym and uh, I was getting out the shower. I had, my, like, I had my towel around and I was like putting my boxers on. You know when you do that little shimmy like in the towel? Some guy's like, oh, a big fan. I'm like, all right, cool. Like a little weird. Yeah. And then I'm like, uh, no, I was getting ready to get in the shower. And he's like, all right, man, he's leaving. And he's like naked or something. He's like, all right, man, be easy, stay safe. I'm like, we didn't need to keep talking. You know what I'm saying? Like we're both, <laughs> we didn't need, this interaction was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You made it weird. Yeah, yeah. You made it weird. He didn't think, it, but. I was at a rave, like right before I, uh, you called me, I was going to Philadelphia. Um, I was sick for two weeks, but I swear to God, I, I was better for like a, two days. I was better for that yeah. weekend, and then I was sick again, on oh, God. You're good, bro. No, no, I'm not lying, I'm not lying. No, it sounds like I'm lying, I'm lying. Yeah. Um, and so I went to a rave, and I'm sitting down like, and I'm on drugs, and I'm just like sitting off to the side, just like this. And then some guy comes up like, you a YouTuber? Like, like dead ass, like this close. Just like getting super You close. YouTuber? I'm like, wow. Like, I thought it like, a lot of times people will be doing that stare like this, and I'm in the subway, like someone's across the subway, like, and I'm thinking like he's trying to rob me, like he's trying to fight me. And I'm like, so do you instantly get like a weird vibe from someone? Yeah, because that's how crazy people like do. They try to make eye contact with you and then right, right. escalate from there. So I'm like looking over here, I'm like, yo, yo, big fan. I'm like, damn, man, like, why you gotta, you can just wave. Like, why are you like, you YouTuber? Like, stop. Ah. Does that happen a lot? All the, all the time, all the time, all the time. Three times a week. <laughs> yeah, three times a week. The weird ones. Most of the time it's fine. Most of the time it's fine. Right. But the, fun, the bad ones are more fun to talk about and also more memorable. But 99% of them are, are good. 
I know you talked about, I forgot when, but like, I think you were in London, right? Didn't someone say like, oh, like bitch ass pussy or something like that? Or like, nah, that was in Washington Square Park. Oh, Washington Square Park. Yeah, I was- uh, Have you had any more interactions like that? That, that person, it was like a gender fluid like person. Hater, and they yeah. were like, toxic pussy. <laughs> um, no, that was no. the only time. That, that honestly, like I love that. That really? was so much fun. Yeah. I got tweeted at in real life. You know, that happens sometimes, but they don't you know who I am. You for it. At least she, uh, or him. Or them. Okay. Or them. Or Zed. Or whatever. Yes. I was talking about trans people um, in a bar, and I don't remember what I was saying. And then some, someone goes by like, you're transphobic. They didn't even know who I was. They were just saying that because they were overhearing my conversation. Like, that's how woke it's getting in certain oh, parts of Brooklyn. Gotcha. Like, they didn't know you as like a they, person. They, they, they were just listening to my conversation. You're toxic. Like, that you really get tweeted at, and like I'm like, how? Like, okay, uh, how am I transphobic? I'm like genuinely asking, like, how? And like, fuck you, fuck you. Like, people don't have anything to, they just tweet, and right. then that's it. They don't know how to have a conversation. Has there been any follow-up since you made that Andrew Schultz video? Has he like said anything to you? Has there been anything? No, nah, nothing. All right, quick pause, little context. I was applying for this editing job for Andrew Schultz. Dude is one of the funniest comedians in the world right now. Set up this competition, like America's next top editor. I actually did win the competition. He offered me a disrespectful amount of money, and not even him, his cameraman. So I said no, camera guy said aight, and that was it. Nothing. I'm bound to see him, like at the comedy clubs probably. Yeah. yeah, it's on site. It's on <laughs> site, nah, I'm playing. How do you feel about that now? Uh, they actually, they had uh, the editor that won the competition, he's now like a full-time member of their team. And like they had him on the podcast and everything, like he's now like a regular member. I'm like, damn, maybe I should have just taken that. Do you regret it? I don't regret it, but it's just like, it was like a battle of egos. Like it was me like, man, 50 bucks. Like I know who I am, like fuck that. And him like, yeah, it's the same thing. You know, it's just ego tripping. Yeah. Um, I don't regret it, but I, I could have handled it better. And so he, he could have handled it better too. The thing is he doesn't really have a lot to gain. It's just an editor. Yeah. Um, I had more to gain from that. Um, but you know, you gotta know your, know your worth. Right. $50, man. Right. It's been That's a lot awesome. of work. That, no, come on. I, I was just, uh, I thought that was, and it, I didn't mention that in the video, but he took like, I won the competition and then he like got married and then went on vacation. They said we were gonna, we were waiting like four months to hear the decision. Yeah. So like I popped an Addy to edit this stuff. Like I was like really like trying to win this yeah, competition. Yeah, yeah. I'm like sitting around, like all this work was for nothing. And then they emailed and it wasn't even him. It was his fucking camera guy. I don't know. I felt disrespected. Yeah. So I don't, that's why I don't regret it. Cause I, I thought it was disrespectful. That's good that you kind of stood up for that. I mean, I'm sure you like look up to him as like a comedian and it wasn't. Yeah, he's one of the funniest guys right now. Yeah. And, you know, he knows that. It just, it, you know, it sucks. Yeah, I feel that. How did you meet China Mac? I've been like paying attention to China Mac for a while. He's the Asian Tupac, like Asian Malcolm X. Like really respect him. Uh, I was like, I, I don't know. I've had a lot of struggles, not struggles, but like I've always, been annoyed about how Asian men are treated yeah. and uh, because of movies and like everyone thinks everyone thought I was a pussy growing up because I'm Asian and you, you, you dealt with that right yeah. like and he's like the one person who like stands up and like yeah. tells people to fight back like Asians are just like cowering and turning over it's, and he's the one person he'll be like you know he posts videos on his Instagram like running down on people like he'll hear people yell racist shit in traffic like what's what you say what's up and they'll be like <laughs> like he's, it's just so it's so it feels so empowering to see someone doing that for sure um he's the only one too and it's not like he's, he's only like one. one of the biggest Asian celebrities only like people who like and he reached out like when he did the those marches after like Asian ladies were getting burned and stuff yeah. like that he did all these mar he, he reached out to every Asian celebrity yeah. to come and support it mm -hmm. All of them dubbed him. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. I was watching his Vlad interviews. Like I saw he, he was in prison for, for 10 years. He never ratted. Like he stuck to the, his dad ratted. Like I, I don't know if he wants, um, I mean he publicized that, but his dad ratted and like he's really against snitching. Like he's really like an actual gangster. Like yeah, he's, yeah. he's stuck to the code his whole life. He did his time. Like he's solidified. He's respected all over New York. And I, it's just dope to see like an Asian man. Like, there's, there's not many. There's not many like that. Um, how did I link up with him? I think I just DM'd him. That was it. Yeah, that was one degree of separation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Really so respect it's, him. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, it's... His music is dope, too. Like, I've been listening to it a lot. Like, really? he just put out a new, uh, new album, Vile Rebirth. Uh -huh. I fuck with it. Like, he, he sounds like a classic 90s New York yeah. battle rapper. You know, he's got that voice. He's got the same charisma, energy. Like, he's, he's, he's valid. Yeah. 
it's like the first time where like we're in the mainstream where like hating against Asians is like actually covered, and also. I feel like first time it's taken seriously. It's exactly. always been a joke. It's just been a, like, ha ha, Asians, yeah. like stupid, like ah, Asians. Like yeah. now, like people are need to take it seriously for once. Like yeah. perfect example, right? Like I work like a corporate job too, and like when like the whole BLM shit was like going on, and like also like this, you know, the, all the Asian attacks were going on too. They like never addressed it. Well, like obviously they addressed like because the it wasn't enough pressure, and now they I bet now they addressed it in the last do. month. Exactly. <clears throat> See all but that it was shit happening the whole time, right? Corporations, it's all bullshit. Like they only do it to save face. Yeah. No, no one cares. Only attach themselves to make money or save money. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it is what it is. We all know it. I just, it's annoying when you go to TJ Maxx and you see gay pride like shirts and like. Do you really think that TJ Maxx is, or you see like the Black Power fist in front of Walmart? <laughs> yeah. What? Like, what? <laughs> they just burned down Walmart. Like in a back. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you don't care. No. Yeah. Like we're a lot similar than different is what I find. If we actually like take away the screens and like take away like a lot of context and settings sometimes, yeah, we're all if we actually just like talk like this, we're all very, very similar. I feel like you probably have noticed that when you do your... Um, yeah, that, that, that's why I think I'm, I'm good at the woman of pie because I'm yeah. good at getting there. I'm good yeah. at getting people to... to You're a good interview. I'm, I'm good at like shifting away from people's bullshit yeah. and like getting to what they really think. Yeah. That's kind of my philosophy with that is like, what do, what do you really think? Right, right. Um, and well, you have to do a couple of those kind of easing in things to like... Well, you got to get over the social anxiety, but I think I'm good at that because I don't have a lot of bullshit clouding yeah. my opinions. I don't have a lot of like ulterior motives. I don't care. Yeah. I'm genuinely just curious. I don't have like any agenda. Like I'm just like, trans people real? Like, can, are you, can, is okay be fat? I don't know. I, tell is me. It? And, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I'll, actually, I, yeah. I don't, I don't think, don't think so. so. Nah. I, I, I honestly... Like, and it's not like, it's not okay to be mediocre. And yeah. being fat is kind of giving up on your body. Because 99% of the case is like, dude, you can fucking stop eating that burger and go for a walk. Yeah. People always bring up the, the example like, oh, I have thyroid yeah. disease. Like, all right, all right. No, you don't. But, you know, you just stop eating for a little yeah. bit. Um, I wouldn't want my kids to be fat. Like, so I, I would tell my kids, like, no. It's, I would tell my children it's not okay to be fat. What if your child is gay or trans? Restart. <laughs> Shove it back in. Try again. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, and my kid was gay before. What if I'm just an asshole and I'm actually just here to dox you? <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if my kid's gay, it's fine. If my kid's trans, yeah, I don't think you know if you're trans until you're an adult, man. Dude, I, I wouldn't. Also yeah. Wild too. Like, like D Wade's son or girl. You're or too daughter. young. You're too young. Like, you can't make that decision. To cut your dick off at ten? No. Nah. Like at least wait till eighteen. Let your dick grow first. Yeah. Let it finish growing. Yeah. Before you snip it off, man. Hey, Come on. Commit. Commit. Commit to the dick. Say it again. Commit to the dick. Oh wait, no. Pause, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How old are you? Like 23? 24. 24. Yeah. When do you turn? You turn. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure you out. I'm trying to like figure. Where, where are you from again? Figuring me out. Because Why can't we just have a conversation. I'm trying to figure. That's part. That's how I do conversation. I love Instead it. of small talk I'm the and nodding. Same not way too. So. Where are you from? I'm from uh, originally from Portland. Which one? The bad one? Oh, the shitty one. Damn. What are you talking about? The fuck didn't abolish the police people yeah, and the that's, no that's police crazy. zones and... That's Portland's weird. Keep Portland... You're not even that weird. You're just annoying, man. It's just like <laughs> heroin he's addicts and... On, he's just on Portland my sucks, man. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I did Portland, went to school in California, Austin. Oh, California. Bay Area. Okay, okay, okay. Bay Area? Yeah. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So did you skate? What, what, you, you what, skate? Are you getting, what are you getting out of me so far? I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. Did, did you skate? You had a skating no. phase? Dude, I did when I was a kid. Okay. Yeah. And you gave up. You weren't good. Nah. Okay. Okay. So I recently made this video a couple months back, asking people, "Is marriage worth it? What are your thoughts with, you know, especially your views on no. relationships?" Um, for me, no. For a lot of people, it is. Like my parents have been married for like 30 years. They're still together. They got married in the 80s. That's crazy. Uh, how the fuck did a Haitian dad and a Filipino mom, like, mom meet? New York, you know, yeah. college. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's weird. That is weird. They're still married, so it's worth it for them. Like, it, it kept them together for all these years. It's just not worth it for me. I don't want a bitch to take half my money. Nah. It's also very antiquated, I feel like, in our age. You think so? I think so. So it's basic, I'm basic, basically? For having that opinion? Just, we just share an opinion. You don't want to get married? I'm scared of it, to be honest with you. 
But would you? Do you see yourself getting married? I do want like a lifelong like partner. If that's the best way you want to call it. But I don't want to like do it like legal. So you're scared of loneliness. That's why people get married. They're just afraid no, to be no, alone no. when they're I'm 50. I'm not scared of being alone. I'm not. So why do you want a lifelong partner? Because I think there's a lot of value in that too, of like building something together. But it, it's not like I have to have this. It's that if there is someone that I'm very compatible and have like good chemistry with, then yeah, why not? Ideally, I have a house with 10 bedrooms and nine of them are women. Like just like <laughs> one just for- Just like the new age playboy? Yeah. Like Hugh Hefner? Yeah, Hugh Hef. Like yeah. that's, I think, and they're all happy. They all get along. Yeah. They do their own thing and nobody's upset. It's the, just the, maybe not nine, that's a lot. Like three, yeah. four. To be honest, like, you do, I mean, from the videos, you seem very happy in your current relationship right now. I am, yeah. Yeah, she's dope. Yeah. She's dope. She's totally on board with it. it took a while, it took a while, but yeah, she's on board with it. I don't have like side hoes, but if it happens, like if I'm in London for 10 days, I got a hotel, like, come on, man. Yeah. Like models around, like, right. not a big deal. Yeah. It's quick. Yeah. Use a condom. Yeah. Then it's not cheating. Uh, yeah, if you yeah. wrap it up, two condoms. Two condoms? Two condoms. Two condoms? One if she's okay. Okay. And then your main bitch, you hit raw. That's just how it goes, <laughs> man. That's just that, that's how it goes. Oh, like the whole woke shit and going yeah. against it. Do you feel like you're you're part of that movement? Yeah, and that's uh, comedians are kind of annoying. Like white comedians in their 30s are kind of annoying about that because they feel like they're like fighting the woke movement. And they just come off kind of corny. Like, it's just like, make jokes. You don't need to just fight woke people all the time. They're funny. Like, all the guys who do it are funny. It's like, all right, chill out, you know? Yeah. I, I don't think of myself as a woke fighter. Yeah, well, that's not what I meant, but yeah. Uh, what, did, what did you mean? I meant more like... Anti-woke? Yeah, you I guess so. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Fighting the woke, like, or nah. Or just like, talking about your opinions that most people will find very conscious. See, I don't think of it like I'm like anti, I'm just saying what I think. I don't think I'm like against any group. I'm just like, this like is what I think. You're not just being controversial to be controversial. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not doing that. And people think of it that way exactly. because my opinion, like, but everyone, everyone's opinions just develop because of fear and because of who's around them and stuff like that. I feel like I'm able to separate myself from the pack pretty well. Yeah. I don't have a lot of other outside influences. I just, I think what I think. And I'm, I'm just really just saying what I, what I genuinely think. And I think the, that Cuties video was a perfect example of like people think I'm just being controversial. I was watching that movie like, oh, this is fine. Yeah. I, I'm just being honest, for real. But don't you think everyone's kind of influenced by something? Like how, how do you separate you know, outside voices to really form your own thoughts? Turn on social media, that's a, that's a good start. Um, I think it's your first reaction. Mm. Your gut reaction is, is really what you think. Interesting, but what if it's presented in a way where it's like, all right, you should probably believe this. Well, I just don't listen. I just don't listen to anyone. Like, I don't like authority. Like, if anyone's telling me to think something or do something, I'm just gonna automatically, I'm like, no. Do the opposite. Yeah. yeah. I wanna get to what people really think. I'm tired of too much bullshit. Like, maybe, th maybe that's how I'm a little bit anti-woke. It's, it's not really anti-woke, it's just anti, like people, anybody who believes in politics, I just think, are you into politics at all? Are you into politics at all? I, they're all stupid, bro. Like anyone who cares about politics is kind of yeah, an idiot. It's like a complete waste of time. It's a waste. Of, like anyone who like like really into something like the environment. Like you're not gonna do anything. You know that? Like billionaires. Well, they don't care about you. Like you're, you. Like Trump is a billionaire that convinced the working class people that I'm for you. Bro, like they they, they are the only ones who really like you recycle. I used to have this teacher who like rummaged through the trash cans to get the recycling right. Like you're not doing anything. It's over. The environment's people fucked. Want, people want that they, they want to do something, like that's their driving force. But like, if you really think about it, you're not doing anything. Yeah. So I just, I'm tired of people, I don't know, I, I want to get to what people really think, to, to their core. We're all monkeys deep down. And I, wanna, I want people to, to realize that, you know? I want to get to like the truth. adopting more like a nihilistic like, view on life like made you happy? Is that nihilistic? A little bit. I could say so. I don't think so. I don't think it's nihilistic. I think it's like nihilistic. You see, like how, sorry, to like, not to cut you off, but like my perspective is like nihilistic in the sense of like, hey, like, you know, we are at the core just like monkeys, so like, just live life. Like I would say that's, in a sense, like- The way you said it doesn't sound nihilistic. That sounds like really positive. Nihilistic no, has this dark feeling. Of course, of course. And I, I view nihilistic aspects as like positive. I'm not like, saying oh, okay. it like in a negative light, but I'm saying that- Yeah, but the word is based on nothing, like that nothing matters. Yeah. Like a lot of stoicism is, in a way, kind of nihilistic. Yeah. You know? But I mean, I, I, do you feel happier because that's of what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel like the happiest. I haven't thought about killing myself in like three years. I'm chilling. Yeah. 
Everyone's, I mean, don't say damn like I'm a, a sad case. Bro, everyone thinks about killing themselves once I'm in a not while. That. No, I, I, everyone thinks about it. I've never thought. That. Actually, no, I did think about it when I was like walking up here. I went to the wrong floor and I was looking out the window. This big drop, like, oh, I could kill myself here. I thought about it. I didn't want to do it, but it crossed my mind. Like, bro, it's, don't say what. Like, it, I'm not, I'm not you, you don't think about like when you're on a rooftop. Like, oh, I could just jump right now. No. You don't think about that? Do you think happiness is a choice? Uh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, yeah, people don't realize that, but yeah. So do you feel like... Am I weird for that killing myself thing? You ever think about that stuff? Like you're in traffic, like, oh, I could just fucking... It's over. You're going 90, like, they just end your life, I'm like, sure right there. everyone has had... Bro, everyone thinks about that. Like, I swear, I think everyone thinks about that. You, you really don't think about that, honestly? Not really, no. You'll see, I'm like, you're on happy. a... But I'm happy, too. I'm not saying I want to no, do it. No. It's just thoughts that cross yeah, my mind. Yeah, your mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like... Are you saying that happens like pretty consistently? Because you said like, oh, I haven't had like a thought like in the last three years. So that, that tells me like that, that was like a pretty deep thought back then. You know what I mean? No, I'm in a happy place. Like I enjoy That's life good. right now. You're it sucks that I built my YouTube on unhappiness because yeah. now I need to, to change the direction. Um, but you know, if you don't like me, fuck you. Like it is what it is. If you don't like the videos, hi, right. sorry. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's a powerful place to be in. Yeah, I really don't care about a lot of stuff. Mm. I'm walking around here, raw dogging, <laughs> unvaccinated, <laughs> no mask, ironically. just ironically, and just chilling, man. I'm just like, I'm just here, just here doing my thing. No job, no school, no direction. That's dope, I don't care. I don't care. It's a great place to be. In. I don't you have those. Are you weak with alcohol? Yeah, yeah. Asians yeah. Are extremely, extremely. No, I'm, I'm weak. I'm gonna start really? glowing like three sips in. I'm gonna be tomato red. Shit. You're starting to get it a little bit, like in your cheeks. Sometimes. 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 Every time. I get it like every sixth time that I drink. I get it every time I sip a beer. <laughs> Half a white claw, and I'm. Damn. I mean, honestly, that's good for you. Is it? No, because everyone's like, "Oh my God, your face is so red." <laughs> like, I'm not even. I'm not even drunk. Just my face is red because of alcohol. <laughs> You're Asian. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs>